Hey guys, this is Brian again. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've gotten back with you on some things, but uh, I had one today that I wanted to look at real quick. This isn't going to be real long, uh, but it is something that I wanted to address yet again. I pointed it out to you guys several times uh, over the past few years, but I uh, felt like this was a good time to hit it again. We discussed before about letting your pressure washer run without pulling the trigger uh, and the damage and whatnot that, that can be caused. But before we get started, uh, again, safety is always paramount. We want to make sure we wear the proper safety equipment, safety glasses, uh, check for pressure uh, issues, electrical issues, things like that. But um, we, want, we want to be safe. I want to make sure you come back to see me again. With that being said, uh, nothing I'm going to show you is going to take substitute for taking your equipment to a good certified shop. This is just to help you out and understand the processes that occur and maybe get you out of a jam. So uh, you'll see other videos I've got about allowing your machine just to sit and run while you're not pulling the trigger. If you set the gun down for a minute or two, that's one thing. But the longer that thing sits there and runs, this water keeps circulating, circulating, circulating. And when it does, it gets hotter and hotter and hotter, which is what the thermal dump is for. And you see, this one doesn't even have a thermal dump. Okay. Even with the thermal dump, which dumps off the hot water, and allow cool water in to help prevent it from overheating it, it's not a hundred percent accurate so it's not always going to work so what has occurred here is this customer has allowed their machine to sit and run while they've moved ladders talk on the phone or whatever the situation is i don't know and he comes to me and said hey i just quit building pressure during the job so he brought it in for me to look at and when i started pulling everything out i got this one and then i started getting this well let's, let's stop this and i'm going to show this so people can understand a little better so this is one of the valves I'm pulling out of here and that's what it looks like. Can you see that? That's what it looks like. And let's see if I can get one of these out of the top. The, the bottom is going to be more likely to cause uh, for this to occur than the top. I'm going to replace all of these anyway. Wait a minute. Give me one second. All right. So that's what a valve should look like on these machines. You see, it doesn't look like this. Doesn't look like this. See the difference? You see what that that is? That that's. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. There we go. See, it's all melted. Now, how hot do you reckon that water has to be to melt this plastic? And we're gonna pull this other one out. And you can't even pull these out. Normally, you should be able to just pull them out with your tool. But. I'm having to knock the flashlight down. All right, now you can see instead of doing that, let's do this. And you see what it looks like in there. It shouldn't look look this way. That's not the way they're supposed to be. And there you go, there's another one for you. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. See that? That, that is 100% caused by allowing this machine to just sit and run with that water recycling. And I've got videos on this, how hot this water gets, so take a look at it. So don't, don't argue with me, and I get people doing something, they argue, that, that machine shouldn't do that, machine shouldn't do that. No, you shouldn't let it sit and run without using it it doesn't it doesn't benefit the machine if you have to set this gun down and walk away then you turn the engine off when you come back you pull start it and you're good to go if you can't pull this engine this this anywhere up to a 13 horsepower engine this is a 13 if you can't pull start this engine when you need to start it after turning it off then you need to find another line of work because this is not for you if you don't have the ability to pull start this engine when you need it, then you need to find another line of work because this is not for you. 
All you're doing is destroying the engine. Now, we're going to hope and pray that it didn't crack one of the pistons by getting so hot with the cold water coming in, cracking those ceramic pistons. I hadn't gotten to that point yet. But if it has, I'll jump back on with the video and I'll show you on the same pump. But otherwise, if, if not, I just wanted to bring home the point that don't let this machine sit and run because it's going to cost you in the end because you're too lazy to turn the machine off. And I, I hear all, excuses all the time. I shouldn't have to do that. I should, well, you have to start your car every time you go to use it, don't you? Same principle here. Every time you go to use this, you need to start it. Don't just let it sit and run because it will overheat your pump. If I don't get, a, uh, get back to you on this video because everything turns out to be fine on the inside of the head, uh, then so be it. But um, otherwise, I may or may not see you following up this section here. But if I don't see you, you guys have a good day. Give your mom a call. Tell her you love her.